The North Carolina Digital Collections, Searching for People by Name The North Carolina Digital Collections has a wealth of information on individuals. By the time you are done watching this video, you'll know the best ways to search the collection for people's names. First, it's good to know that searching the North Carolina Digital Collections isn't like searching Ancestry.com, FamilySearch.org, or other databases that are just dedicated to genealogical research. Our site has records about specific individuals, but it also has lots of other materials where individuals' names are mentioned. For example, you might find information about your person in military records, like this War of 1812 pay voucher for Abel Bradshaw. Or you could find your person in letters, like in this 1863 letter from John Futch to his wife Martha. Or you might find your person mentioned in government reports like this Supreme Court report with the names of all the lawyers who passed the state bar in 1904. Let's go through a few tips to make the most of your search for names. 1. Write out all the different variations in which your person's name might be written. Include alternate spellings and misspellings. Historical names were frequently spelled differently. Also, if the writing on the original record is very difficult to read, it may have been transcribed incorrectly when the record was put online. Include first name, last name, and last name, first name. Did your person have any middle names? Include versions with and without the middle name. Include initials. Could your person have used their middle name as an initial? Or could they have used initials in place of their first name? Include maiden names or any other name changes your person might have had. 2. Construct your searches. On the North Carolina Digital Collections homepage, skip the main search box and use the advanced search drop-down instead. Use the advanced search to search for each of the variations you just listed out. You can search up to four variations at once. Enter each of the variations of your person's name into the search boxes. Here's a search that I've constructed to look for Mary Wharton. I've entered four variations of her name, including her name spelled as Mary and as Marie. Search for each variation as an exact phrase. This will ensure that you only get documents where the first and the last name are together, describing the same person. Connect each search term with OR. If you connect them with AND, you'll only get items that include all of the name variations. You can ignore the last connector after your final search term. You can use an asterisk to broaden your search. Using an asterisk at the end of a search term will search for all terms that start with that search term. For example, John asterisk will look for John, Johnson, Johnston, Johnstone, and so on. Let's go back to my search for Mary Wharton. My search is ready, so let's see what we get. Here are the search results. We get five items. I can see my search terms at the top of the page. My search results are listed below with thumbnail images. These five results will be easy to look through. Sometimes, though, searches return lots of non-relevant results. Here's a search for John Smith that returned 963 results. You can use the filters on the left-hand side of the screen to narrow your search. If I click on Format Medium, I see the top 10 formats that appear in the search. I can see that there are 52 military records, 13 genealogies, and 11 Bible records. If I click on Military Records, I can now browse through the 52 military records for men named John Smith. Note that Military Records has appeared in my search terms at the top of the screen. If you're still getting too many results, try searching in only one collection at a time. You can select which collection to search on the left-hand side by clicking Show 31 More Collections. Collections that are likely to have genealogical information include the 1901 Confederate pensions, alien registration and naturalization records, family records, North Carolina newspapers, selections from print collections, War of 1812 pay vouchers, World War I. Other collections you might also want to search include 
state publications one and two which include thousands of government reports and other publications with information on specific individuals and legacy finding aids if you think your person's papers might be at the state archives one final trick if you're still having difficulty efficiently searching for a common name like john smith is to use google go to google type in variations on your person's name here we have just typed in john smith followed by a space and then site colon digital dot ncdcr dot gov that's our web address then another space and a minus sign site colon digital dot ncdcr dot gov slash cdm slash search your search results will be items from the north carolina digital collections that include your person's name. Don't forget to search for alternate spellings, initials, and other alternate versions of the name that you created earlier in your list. Today, we've covered five steps. 1. Write out all variations of the person's name. 2. Construct your searches using the advanced search in the North Carolina Digital Collections. 3. Filter your search to narrow your results. 4. Limit the collections your search looks in to narrow your results even more. And 5. Try Google if your searches are still too large. Happy hunting and thanks for watching the North Carolina Digital Collections tutorial Searching for People by Name. And please feel free to contact us with questions.